Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am going to show you how to do the back carry in the Happy Baby Carrier. So this is the original Happy Baby Carrier. I'll link down to the website where you can get this one. This is the cider color. I absolutely love it. It is, this is like my favorite color ever. So I'm so happy to have my main carrier that I use all the time as this color. So this is my favorite one also for during the summer. It's really lightweight and breathable. So if I wear it on my back, we don't get, we don't turn into a big sweaty mess like with some of my other ones that are not so breathable. This is a linen material and it ergonomically supports a seven to 45 pound baby. So I'm really excited to show you how to do the back carry in this carrier. I'm wearing Vivian in this on my back like every single day. So we've gotten it really down well. So let's get right into this video. So here are the shoulder straps. This is the, this is the back of it. Here's the inside. So you can see right here, it has this to adjust the size for your baby's knees. You want this, the edge of this to go to knee to knee. You want it to go to just a little bit behind their knee, not like right on the knee. You don't want it so close to the edge of their knee that it's like pushing their leg up. You want it like right, right here. That's a good spot. So this is adjusted so it goes to Vivian's knee to her other knee. So you're going to take your carrier, you're going to take the tag, and you're going to kind of put it backwards on your back. It doesn't make sense at first. You're going to put it with the inside of the carrier going out. You want to make sure it's centered on your back. You buckle it in on the side and it has this, this little thing here that keeps the strap from hanging down too far. So you can see it's centered on my back, it's hanging down. So when I put her on it, I'm going to lift these up like this and put it over her. Now it's ready for the baby. This is Vivian. She is eight and a half months old and she loves riding in the carrier on mama's back. So I always start from my right side. It's a lot easier probably because I'm right-handed. So I take her and I put her on my hip like this and I'm gonna take this arm and put it over her head and then you take it around her butt to support her. So she's still on my hip, but I'm just having my hand around the other way. So then you're going to use your other hand and you're gonna kind of bounce her up, bounce her up to your back like this. You're still, you're still fully supporting her with your arms, so there, so she is not going to fall off of here. Then you're going to lift this up. You're gonna make sure it goes in between her legs and doesn't grab her foot in it. You're gonna flip this up like this. And then you find the armholes and you pull it up. So now she's, now she's in there. So I'm just gonna make sure her arms are coming down where they're supposed to. She likes to put them up. So now her, now her arms back down here and her other one's good. Right, and then you take this and buckle it in the front so it doesn't fall off your shoulders. So now she's in there really well. You can see it's coming, you can see it's coming to just behind her knee. So it's keeping her knees lifted up. You want it like that for maximum hip support because you can have issues with hip dysplasia if you don't put them in the carrier right. So this is really comfortable on my waist. That is something I absolutely love about this carrier. I have the carrier I've used for years, digs into my hip bones. This comes above my hip bones. It is so comfortable on my stomach. I almost can't even tell it's there. It is that good. So when I first got this, I didn't realize that these adjust. So these were all the way up like this and it like digs into your neck and I had to watch I had to watch a video to realize that you pull you just slide these down so I just have them all the way down I just kind of this is where it feels comfortable on my chest there's these so you can loosen it or tighten it there is adjustments on the side you can loosen it and tighten it so if you were wearing them on your front, you could loosen those to bring them down to breastfeed and then tighten them back up and lift them up. So let's talk about a couple safety things with this. It, you want to make sure that their legs are in an M position. So if her heels up to her knees, down to her butt, you want it to look like an M. That is going to ensure that their hips are in the optimal position. It's not going to do any damage to their hips in terms of hip, hip dysplasia or anything like that. So this is actually really good for her hips. You wanna make sure they're, they're not slumped down in there. So if I go up to a mirror, I can see her nose is out. She is able to breathe. You don't want them so slumped in that it's going to hurt their back. You can see her back is relatively straight. She just has a little bit of a curve in her spine, which is just what we wanna see. You can see that behind her head, this carrier comes up just enough that she's still little enough that if she falls asleep, her head won't flop back yet. When she's a little bit bigger, there's actually a sun hood 
in the back of this. You can see there's a zipper behind her head. And the sun hood is in that. You can pull it up and you attach it to these things on your shoulders and then that holds their head up so it doesn't flop down and they don't hurt their neck. So now we are ready to go get some work done. I have my hands free. This is all comfortable. I, it's not pulling or pinching anywhere. It feels good on my shoulder. The shoulders, these pads are so nice and wide. So at first, before I kind of got it figured out, it was, I had, I had these ones tighter. So this wider part was down, it was kind of pushing on the edge of my shoulders here. So in that case, I just loosened it a little bit. It brings it down to this little narrow of a part. Now I can, straighten my arms and it doesn't dig into there. So you just have to play around with the, these two adjustments and this adjustment to get a really good fit, have it be comfortable for your shoulders, for your hips, and have your baby be safe in it. Okay, now let's show you guys how to get the baby out of here. So you're just going to basically reverse your steps. You're gonna unbuckle this. You're gonna start taking it off your shoulders, but you're gonna reach behind you with your other arm while you take this off. I'm gonna make sure it's not tangled around their arm. So you take that off, then you go under here and hold under their butt, and then you can take the other side off. So now I'm just holding her back here like this, and then I kind of take her back down to the right side, like this, and now she's out. Just like that. Yep. You wanted to stay back there, didn't you? You didn't get back for a nap. <laughs> so I hope this video was helpful and give you an idea of how how in the world you can get your baby on your back? Because I know it can be really challenging at first. It takes a lot of practice. I carried my second child on my back for six months. And then now this is my third child. I've worn her on my back for two months now because she was able to start doing it at six months and now she's eight months. So I've had a lot of practice. It takes a long time of doing that every day before you kind of get the hang of it. and. At first, you can do it over your bed, so if they fall, they just fall on your bed, not on the hard floor. <laughs> Even when I was first starting, I never had them fall or anything. It was just nice to have nice to have the peace of mind that if they did fall, they would just be landing on the bed or, or on the couch or something like that. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.